Welcome to the exciting new world of personal computers. As the new user of an IBM personal computer system, you now have one of the most powerful tools modern technology can provide. You'll soon discover many ways to use this incredible system to enrich your occupation, increase your efficiency, and add to your productivity. But first, you must know how to operate it. With this video program, you'll learn faster than by using only the manuals. As a matter of fact, by the time this program is finished, you'll have learned all the fundamentals necessary for years of successful IBM personal computer operation. We'll start by taking a look at the topics covered in this tape. You'll learn about the various components that make up computer systems. All computer systems use similar components from that gigantic mainframe system at your local bank to your IBM personal computer. You'll learn how a microprocessor performs most of the same functions as a huge mainframe processor like those found in the big IBM type systems large corporations use. You'll learn where the brain of your new system is and where it remembers what it's supposed to. You'll be learning the meaning of many new words throughout this program. Don't be concerned the first time you hear a word and don't understand. We'll explain them all in a sequence that will help you understand your computer better. You'll learn the difference between RAMs and ROMs, and why it's important to know the proper file name to get to a file. We'll also cover the disk drive and how to use floppy disks. You'll learn about circuit boards, printers, and modems. You'll understand why DOS is the key to successful IBM personal computer use and how CPM can open another world of application programs for you. And most importantly, you'll learn about software and how easy it is for your computer to use software to make life and business easier for you. I know you're anxious to get started, so the first part of this tape will give you some hands-on experience right away. First, you'll learn how to interconnect your IBM personal computer with a monitor and printer. Then you'll learn how to power up your IBM and what the monitor display can tell you about various functions your computer is capable of performing. We'll help you get familiar with your new keyboard and work with some of the additional keys that let you control your computer's potential. There are quite a few new keys on your IBM personal computer that make it different from an ordinary typewriter. We'll go over each of these. You'll then learn about disks and how they should be used and handled. We'll show you how to make copies of disks that you wish to save. You'll learn why it's important to format a disk and how to prevent your data from being erased accidentally. We'll take a look at your IBM personal computer's filing system and how to use file names to get information to and from disks. You'll learn how to find specific files on a disk and how to manipulate files to serve your needs. We'll take a look at the internal software your computer can work with. You'll discover that there are various levels of language working inside your system. You'll understand about those memory size numbers, 64K, 128K, and 256K, and what they mean in your computer. It isn't necessary to know how to program a computer to use its full power. We'll show you how you can use ready-made programs to help your business, education, families, and hobbies. Before you know it, you'll be writing some simple programs and beginning to enjoy the unlimited power your computer can give you. The chapter on programming will show you what a program is and how to write one. By the time you're finished with this tape, you'll be well on your way to mastering this amazing new tool. Just remember, you're in control. Your IBM personal computer system is now going to follow your commands and open a whole new world of information and excitement for you. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this tape is not designed to replace the various manuals you received with your IBM personal computer. This tape is designed to help you begin to use your system right away. While you're viewing this tape, you'll have a very solid overview of your new system when you finish this tape and will then find the manuals far more helpful. As we proceed, there will be times when it would be helpful to pause this tape and try one of the exercises. When you see this symbol appear in the lower right-hand corner of your television screen and hear these three beeps. It's time to put your video player in pause, then try that particular exercise just described. 
When you feel that you understand it and want to continue with the tape, simply come out of pause on your video player and proceed. If you feel that you don't quite understand an exercise and want to go back over the explanation, simply rewind this video program back to the beginning of the section that you want to review and look at it again. We'll be presenting quite a bit of material for you to learn. If it seems to be coming too fast for you, use the pause and rewind features of your video player as often as you want. You may find it helpful to jot down your video player's counter numbers as you go. That way you can review specific sections more easily and review them again in more depth after you've used your IBM PC for a while. The back of the box that this video program came in has a column for you to write down the counter numbers. Perhaps the most useful numbers to begin with are those that correspond to the beginnings of each chapter. Soon you'll be assembling your system. It's time to bring your computer close so this program can help you begin to use your computer. Gather all the elements listed on the back of your video program package next to your video player and television set. Here's the pause symbol at the end of chapter one to give you time to write down your counter numbers for the beginning of chapter two. Get ready to begin.